English is a non-phonetic language. So if you are using phonetics, then that is not an efficient method because eventually you will have to unlearn it. Hi there, this is Usha Pandit and I am the author of the series The Magic Box. And this book is Phonics, Sight and Rhyme Reading. So I am going to show you a page of how you can teach your children to read. English is a non-phonetic language. So if you are using phonetics, then that is not an efficient method because eventually you will have to unlearn it. Everyone reads by sight and the speed of sight reading is phenomenal and it's natural. Now let's look at lesson number 14. Let's say you're wondering how will you teach? So you first need to acquire the alphabet which means if I show you a P you need to be able to understand that it's got a, a sound or a T sound or a G sound something. You don't have to be exact but you need to have a general idea of what the sounds are. Now I'm doing the junior book. We've also got the 3 plus book. And this is the 4 plus book and then you've got the 5 plus book. So if you look at this, you need to be sure that children know the words of 3 plus. And there is a list that's given to you. If they can read those words, then you can proceed with the junior book. I'm taking the middle of the book, lesson number 14. And I'm talking about four sight words that are given to you in labels. Hand, hill home, king. These four words can be written on your board if you like or you can get children to open their books and touch the words as you say them. <clears throat> so you say hand, hill, home, king on the first day. There are words from the previous lessons which we keep adding in between in each lesson. So the lessons are beautifully made. So that you are doing a mix of the new and the old all the time. This is called a layering. So the old words never go away. They are either coming in your new word list or they are coming in your reading or they are coming in your games. You are constantly revising those old words. So you never forget them. A few repetitions and then you will, the child will never forget them. Because that's how the brain learns. So it's a very well researched work on how the mind learns. And that's what we have used. So on the first day you go hand, hill, home, king, small, game. On the second day you do hand, hill, home, king, large, cold. So when you say it on the first day you go hand, and the child says hand, hill, home, touching the words all the time. And then you whisper hand. And the child whispers hand. So you say let's whisper. So by the time you've done this book, children know what whisper means. And then you say let's yell. So you go hand, hill and children repeat it after you by yelling. So they know the word yell also. Then you might say let's sing the words. Hand, hill, home. You might do this and children will repeat after you. So the children don't know what kind of, you know, chanting you will use or what sort of singing you will use. And that surprise is something that completely tickles four-year-olds. They love it because it becomes like a game. They are not really thinking of it as, oh, we are reading, what is the sound of H, what is the sound of N. They are not doing this. They are simply having fun. So you repeat it on five days in the order that is given to you and you will notice that hand, hill, home, king, we have mixed the words all up in, for, in the next five days. So on the fifth day, if you actually tell children, if you write a, a sequence on the board and ask them to read, you'll be surprised at how many can read it. It's brilliant. After that, you do phonic variations. See, you've got rhyming words. So with hand, you are saying band and land and sand and wand. Now you don't say band, but you say wand. 
but still they are all words ending with that a and d you're just changing the initial letter some children will not get this because their brains are not ready for the switch however do it because we are doing it for fun right we are not doing it to make sure that they learn and we are not going to give them a test and we are not going to judge them and say you guys can't do it they can do it don't do any of this stuff just have fun similarly bill fill hill mill pill will are real words so you just make them say it play with vocabulary now there are several games in the book with vocabulary and you can choose to do this one and then do the others as well it depends on how much your class loves playing games so if you look at all those words that are there there are about 12 words there right and if you take those 12 words you might play word bingo or you might hang all the words on paper plates and you might hit the word and when you hit the word you have to say the word so it's a it's a fun game they're actually playing a game by with a ball and paper plates they're not really thinking of oh we are spelling now or we are i'm sorry not spelling we're reading now but eventually that word sits in their minds because they have enjoyed that activity that's how you learn and then finally at the end of 5 days you get them to read this now this reading practice paragraph that you're seeing on your screens you will notice has got this hill and uh, <coughs> hand you might find some of these words you might find home you might find king or you might not find them there but you might find them in the next lesson but a lot of these words that you are seeing there at present are words that they have done either in the first 13 reading lessons or in the earlier book 3 plus small words they have learnt it learnt in the previous year so do you see the volume of repetition that is being done in the most natural way it's not being said let's revise now now we'll just say it over and over again none none of that you're reading a story now if you stop at a certain place and you can't read the word the teacher can help you if you are stopping at that word several times the teacher will write it in a book so that you can play a game at home one of the games can be played at home with just those words that you are finding difficult or you can put it up in your room as a passive sight word so that you are looking at it often there are many ways of doing it but all those word uh, ways need to be stress free and that's what this reading program does extremely successful in schools that are following it children absolutely enjoy this reading practice because it's a sort of joy to think oh my god i'm reading what will happen to children is that they will read it at word level so they'll go today we will go up a hill they'll read like this you need to stop them at hill and make them read it once more today and then tell them to say it together we will go up a hill today we will go up a hill eventually they'll understand that the words need to be said together they should not be in at the word level they should be at the sentence level you are actually training them to read at the sentence level and stop at the full stops it's easy it's fun you can get your parents to participate in this whole exercise and it is wonderful because the children will be successful books are qr coded in hindi there are eight books this is one of those eight books and so at home they will be able to participate in this wonderful and joyful experience of the child learning not just to read but growing his mind and wonder and having a positive attitude towards school so next year if you are a school go for these books if you are a parent also take these books you can always do it at home you don't really need to you know have a teacher do it 
you can do it and get your children up and running at the cutting edge well ahead and ready for school thank you